Hello. I look so white. <laughs> I don't look that white, but I think it's because I have maybe I have the soft box too close to me. Does that matter? <laughs> I don't know. But it looks like I'm super white and then I have a brown stripe and then I'm red in my eyes. I don't know if I'm red in my eyes, but I'm definitely not that white in the face. Maybe I should try to move the softbox. My electric bill is going to be so high if I have to have all these lights on every time I film. I still look white. But at least I don't look yellow. <laughs> I don't know why I look so red in the eye. I'm still getting used to sitting here um, and it's not, you know, I sit on the same chair but I'm used to having my desk in front of me and uh, I have all the stuff I need and I have a lot of space to put everything uh, but I only have a very small table and well, I'm not really sure about how how I'm going to have everything and now I feel like the light is wrong again wait <laughs> maybe the light is too far away now I don't know I'm just trying this out so sorry if it's not good but I don't think it was good before either ow uh, like I said I have only a small space here so it's really hard um but I'm trying it out but at least I can have the mirror in front of me and you can see it just a little bit but yeah, I have already done my base, obviously, and contoured. Um, and I thought that I'm going to use my ColourPop things. Oh my god, I think I have some fluff from, um, where is it? This has been put under the foundation because it tickles. Well, never mind. And I thought that I was going to try to use... Super Shock Chic Matte in Oshi's Blushing. It's from the Breath Rock collection. And the Flexitarian Super Shock Chic in Pearlized. Oh, I don't know how this will look because I don't think I have used these. And this is kind of moist. So should have brought some other brush maybe. Hmm. Try this. I don't know if this will pick up or not. Let's try to do like this. I picked up a little bit. I think you should have a stippling brush maybe for this, but I didn't take one with me, so we'll have to take this. And I don't want to take too much because I think, you know, this is really pigmented. And you know, I'm trying to not look into, I'm trying to look into the camera, but it's really hard because when I look over there, I look at my phone and the thing I look at, I look at is, you know, myself. So it's natural that I look at myself and I don't know, I think the camera is there and it's not natural for me to look at that. But I'm trying to learn not to look that much. And I'm sorry if it's annoying. It's really uh, staining my brush anyway. I think this is the type of blush that will stay on. Oh, it shows up a lot more on the camera than it does here. Oh, where is my brush? looks a little bit patchy but you know when you take blush it will fade away a bit um, so that's why it's good to always take a little bit too much and then it will fade away in an hour and then you will see how it really shows up because here it doesn't look like much it looks a little pink only Hmm. 
I didn't think it would be that pink. Maybe it's more like a coral. Okay. I need a ring light. Right now I have my softbox over there and an orange light to, you know, neutralize that a bit. Then I have my normal warm lights over there and then I have a light over there. I don't know, you know, I'm not a light person. I'm not good with that. So you just have to try to figure this out. Now I'm getting warm. That was a long time ago. I think I will see how this looks and just take that right now. God, it tickles. Did I just... Where did I put... Are you joking? I just had one of those... Um, that's weird. Okay. Um, um, baby wipes and now it's gone. That's so weird. There, there it is. Now I can't. Well, now I have already used that. So. It's kind of stained my hand, but yeah. Oh, this is so tight. But yeah, okay. Let's try the highlighter. Well, I have tried it before, but let's take it. Where is my highlighting brush? Okay. Ooh, it's flexitarian. How can it be a bit dark over here when I have so much light pointed at me? It's just because I'm used to sitting um, by the table where I have ah this light. I'm taking a little bit with my finger. There we picked up some. I look so weird in this light and my teeth look super yellow and my eyes look red why they are not red oh that was not pretty well never mind that I will probably take a little bit more highlighter when I'm done I don't know what type of eye look I will do, but I have taken out uh, my red, yellow, orange, gold drawer with Colourpop shadows. So that's what I'm going to use, I think. And I don't know. I'm not going to... Am I going to take... No, I'm not going to take the paint pot because I want to see. Because I have had some bad luck with eyeshadow. And I want to know if it's the primer that has gone um, bad. Um, because it's not this. Because that's not that old. Oh. Like that. Oh, it tickles everywhere. A doll, not a doll like, oh, I'm pretty, but like a porcelain doll, you know, white with very pink cheeks. <laughs> well, God. Okay, let's see what we have to work with here. I know I can't use that because that is cracked and I have to fix that, but isn't Kennedy in here? Yeah, I want to use Kennedy. 
it's a mat let's see it looks like that it's matte and very light so let's see oh i didn't take that either well i'm taking this in the creek It's when you use super shock shadows for the first time, it's really intimidating because you know they are creams and it's weird, I think, for a lot of people, you know, to work with creams um, and to work with them in the crease. You know, it's a matte, but it's a cream and so on. But just do like you normally do. And if that's not, you know, because I do like I normally do, uh, I'm just taking. A little bit a denser brush to blend this with I usually have another brush but yeah and stippling brushes us usually are good as well that's ridiculous how much it tickles over here <laughs> no this worked great You can always try, you know, do like this and try it on your hand like I did with the blush. Then you see how much will come out of it. But I just did like I normally do. And these are very good to put on with, um, you know, these sponge tip applicators that everyone hates. Um, just saying. Take a little bit more over here. And I have not used all of these, but I've used this shade before, I think. And I will use the glow sticks one, but not yet. I want to have the bubble bee. This is uh, ultra metallic. That is orange, kind of. I have used this before as well. I love this shade. I just want to have a little bit over here. This is not a tutorial. That's why, you know, I'm not that close. <laughs> Let's see if I can put it on nicely with this brush. Yeah, that works fine. This is also beautiful to have all over the lid. But I want to have the neon shade for that. And these, the ones I have used, they stay on really well uh, during the day. Even when you know you're sweaty and such. Um, so that's really good. I think I've used without a primer as well. And didn't crease otherwise it always crease on me um, like that then I want a little bit darker can we make that with this that's pink I should take that out because I have put ba what's it called baby talk in here but if you saw my last video I'm sorry about that if that was boring uh, but that was super pink so it shouldn't be in there let's take erotic it's a uh, pressed pigment and I think I want another brush am I doing a sunset look I can't help it. I love it. I think that's such pretty colors. But I don't think I will use pink today. That's usually very pretty to have with a sunset look. I'm just using... Before I've used... Um, I don't usually tell you, but why not? A Sigma Blending E25. That's a super brush. And then I have the Body Shop... 
well, it's called N83E, but it's just a dense, you know, eyeshadow brush. Wanted a bit over here, like that. Then I will probably take more, but I'm just going to take the glow sticks one. Oh, this is a pressed pigment, but there are glitter in it. Let's take that with that brush. Let's see if it works with this brush. Otherwise, I will take a sponge chip one. It's very glittery, so you know. Let's see, because maybe that brush only takes up the glitter. Maybe I can try it. I have this big sponge tip uh, applicator from Body Shop. Look at that. Mm. I just want to see how it looks. If I take my finger, is there a residue from some other shadow that I don't like? Because these look good if you know you take your fingers, just that you have to sanitize them later on if you want them to last. Oh, now I got, that's why I never use my finger because I get it down there. <laughs> but it's more intense when I use my finger. So I'm going to try to take it with should I take that brush? Let's try. This brush is broken. Why did I take that brush? Don't I have one that's not broken? Mm. Where are all my brushes? Do I have to take? I think it still looks more yellow where I used my finger, so let's try that. Maybe it's just an illusion of the light. Now I've used 10 brushes for this shade. <laughs> I just want to find the, uh, the best one. Like that. Um, right there. We can have yellow over here. That's not a bad idea. just going to my family so I'm just going to check to see if it's the light I think it's the light that makes the illusion They have so many shades on their um, channel, channel, no, website that look yellow, but they are not. And by the way, I didn't say the name of this first, that is total gold, but looks like a yellow on the website. It's called Come Clean, by the way. 
I didn't say that in my latest video, I'm so sorry. But the other ones are not yellow. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see what is this? Monkey business. Let's take some monkey business. Looks like that. And it's also a pressed pigment that is matte. Uh -oh. Let's take this. Darker, my favorite. So, this says that it's a pressed pigment, so it will probably, you know, um, stain, but that does not bother me really. I'm not going to do something important tomorrow, so. And I like that this, you know, the Colourpop shadows blend very easily. They don't look like I have put on a million creams, you know. I wish that they had a yellow that was more like a mustard or, you know, normal yellow that is not a neon yellow. Because this one has a lot of glitter and I don't know. I think I would take the orange underneath Bubble Bee. Oh, I didn't take the eyeliner and stuff over here. Uh, by the way, I tried the Colourpop mascara last time. The black one, I really liked it, so I've only used it one or two times, I think, and I liked it so far, so. God, I like this. This was part of a summer collection last year, I think, but sometimes, you know, they bring colors back, and maybe they have it right now as well, I don't know, but I think they were, yeah, um... Uh, butterflies on on the lid like that and i actually saw this shade because i saw angelica angelica nyquist use it and i thought it looked so pretty and i ordered it even though it didn't look that pretty on the website and i'm grateful for she showing it uh do we have something to put in the inner corner that is not just straight up glitter No. Isn't that shade in here? No. That's too bad. Let's take this one. Twitter painted. No, that's too pink. Let's see. Let's take I like you. It looks like this, and there is like pink glitter in it. But that's no worries. Ooh, I like it. Ooh, that that was a good choice. It worked really well with the yellow. I don't know if you can see it, but that looked good. Okay, so now I'm going to take on, uh, you know, eyeliner and stuff. <laughs> so I will be back. Let's see if that works. Where are you? Because this works, you know, when it wants. So I'll be back soon. Hello. I have only put on a very little brow thing because that's what happened and uh, my eyeliner but I thought I was going to try you know this color pop uh, pot uh, or they're called cream yell colors and I thought I was going to try the yellow one it's called punch looks like that and try to put it down here because um, you know Paulina has said that these are great so let's try them 
Ooh, they were pigmented at least. Oh God, sorry, if, I don't know if you see anything now, but I have to do this not to get it on my lashes. Ooh, it's creamy, I like it. Let's see if it sticks because nothing usually sticks for me in the waterline. If it does, then I will buy more. I have like all the fun ones, but you know, then I will want the black one as well. And the white. Let's take it over here. I'm using a very small brush just to, you know, be precise. That's so cool. That's really cool. So let's see what happens. And now I'm just going to take mascara, like that. Uh, I have the lipstick Hades from the Villain collection. It's a cream, it's from Colourpop, you know. Um, I'm pretty pleased with this look. <coughs> I don't know, let's see. I don't know if you can see anything, but I'm really pleased with it so far. And I'm really pleased with the eyeliner in the waterline. Um, Maybe I have been crooked the whole time. I don't know. Uh, but the most excited I actually am for the shade I used in my inner corner. Uh, I like you. Um, it looks so pretty. I want to use it more. Let's see if I can swatch it for you. It's like this. Not that typical warm orange. It's almost like a mustardy orange. It looks, yeah, I don't know. Well, stupid light, but yeah, it's pretty anyway. Um, and it's glittery and it looks really cool with the yellow. So yeah, I'm pretty pleased with this. Let's see if I can um, show you uh, when I don't look like an idiot. Wait. Well, at least I don't have a towel on my head right now. But yeah, <laughs> I'm like I said, I'm going to put that over there. Like I said, I'm pretty pleased with this look. Let's see if I can like that. Um, yeah, I'm pretty pleased with the highlighter, the blush. I don't know. I will have to see during the day. Uh, and I will see about the eyeliner as well. But yeah. So this was like a yellow, red, orange kind of look with my Super Shock shadows. <laughs> so yeah, that was all. Bye.